Let's take you now to Paris, France, where we can speak to uh, Martin Cassé, a security and defense analyst with the German Marshall Fund there. Very warm welcome to DW News. What's your take on uh, the outcome of uh, this phone call that took place uh, earlier today between uh, Pres President Macron and uh, President uh, Putin, where uh, Mr. Putin told uh, Macron he is unhappy that the West uh, ignored uh, Russia's security concerns? Well, the outcome is somehow expected, but the call took place after the U.S. sent uh, a written answer to uh, the Kremlin. And, and I think it was important for France to show that it was possible, it was important to continue the dialogue with Russia and to clarify uh, each other's positions. And this is what uh, what they discussed. Now, France call with Russia uh, this morning and then later with Ukraine uh, uh, sort of contribute to the overall European and, and transatlantic diplomatic effort to find a way to de-escalate uh, the, the, the situation in, in the Ukrainian-Russian border. I think what we can expect now is that France will turn to NATO and European allies, discuss what has been said with the president uh, of Russia, and see what ways could be explored for more uh, uh, talks in the, in, the, in the next days. I wanted to get to your view on this. Of course, France and Germany are making a concerted a diplomatic push to defuse prospect of, of potential ground war. Is Paris worried about the American approach to Ukraine tensions? So the, actually, there is a quite a, a remarkable coordination uh, among transatlantic partners during this crisis. This is something that has to be uh, noted because we've seen over the past year uh, criticisms from European allies over the way the Biden administration had handled uh, the, the withdrawal from, from Afghanistan or the creation of the AUKUS uh, uh, pact. In the case of this Russia-Ukraine crisis, uh, transatlantic coordination has been excellent. Uh, the French position is that they have the same, uh, they see the same things as the Americans, uh, they see the same things as the, the Brits, uh, but they don't necessarily have the exact same analysis of the situation uh, at the border. And in particular, there might be some uh, 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 disagreements over the imminence of a Russian uh, action in Ukraine. It seems that the American and, and British uh, analysis is that something is coming very, very soon, whereas the French defense uh, analysis is a bit more prudent. Uh, there is something to discuss here, but overall the coordination is quite good. Uh, in conclusion, Germany, as you know, has come under heavy criticism uh, recently over its ties with Russia, especially when it comes to Nord Stream to the pipeline that will uh, bring Russian gas directly uh, to Germany by bypassing Ukraine. What is the Elysee's position uh, when it comes to Nord Stream 2? So the Elysee has, has remained rather quiet on the matter. Uh, what we've heard from the French Minister of Foreign Affairs is that Russia would face uh, massive consequences, massive sanctions, this exact same uh, uh, language used by uh, his American uh, uh, counterpart, uh, Tony Blinken. So France supports the idea that Europeans need to uh, uh, build sanctions regimes in case Russia acts, but France has not taken a clear uh, position over what kind of sanctions need to be implemented. Now, on Nord Stream 2 in particular, the French have been quite clear in, in signaling to uh, the, the, the German partner that they're not happy with the way Nord Stream increases our vulnerabilities and our dependencies to Russia, and that this is something that needs to be discussed among Europeans, and this is not only a, a German decision. Martin Canse, Deputy Director of the Paris Office of the German Marshall Fund. Thank you for taking our questions. Thank you.